guys, it's Courtney and I'm here to do the like roundup for the end of my decluttering series. So I'm going to show you what I'm keeping, what I'm getting rid of out of that like maybe pile. And um, I have tried this stuff out since this, since like those videos. And then, um, so this is like my final decision, you know what I mean? So let's just get into it. Some stuff I have already... Like some stuff that I had a couple things that weren't even touched, so I set those aside to actually like give away. Um, and then the other stuff that's in here that I'm gonna get rid of is gonna do the same as like my other declutter, so it's gonna go to friends and family. Um, or if it can be sanitized, I'll try to donate it. <clears throat> so let's just get into what I am getting rid of. So the first thing is gonna be the Revlon Polish in Artsy. And this is a really pretty, like, blue, like, jelly base with blue, like, octagon and mini shimmers. Um, this is what one coat looks like. And in the camera, it looks pretty opaque, but in real life, you can see pretty much all of my nails. So, I'm getting rid of this one, and I am keeping, if you guys remember, I was doing a comparison between that and Starry Starry Night, which is the new one from Etsy, and that's on my thumb. You can literally not tell the difference, but there's a difference, I swear. This is more opaque in one coat, um, and this has blue and silver shimmers in it, and I just like, I just like the way this one looks better, and I truly don't need two blue jelly shimmers, especially because these are both cruelty, or not cruelty free, I mean. So, I'm going to keep this one and work through it, and I'm going to get rid of that one. <clears throat> The other nail polish that I'm going to be holding on to, at least until my next declutter, is Essie's Hot Tub, or Hot Tub, however you want to say it. It has, like, gasoline iridescent shimmers. They go from, like, green to blue to purple in there, and they have a black base. Um, this is really pretty in the sunlight, and then when it's not in the sun... You can't really tell. But when it's not in the sun, it just looks black. And then in the sun, you can really see. And then in the sun, you can really see the shimmer. So it's very pretty. And I'm going to be keeping and using it up. The next thing that I'm keeping is my Essence Long Lasting Lipstick in number 27. This is what it looks like. Um, it's just a really pretty like raspberry berry tone. It's actually a little bit darker than it's showing up on camera because of the light coming in here. But it's really, really pretty. I don't actually have a lot this color, so I wanted to keep it. But we'll see what happens. The ones I am getting, the ones I'm getting rid of from Essence is this in number 06. This is just like too, I don't know, it's very like brownie nude. It's actually coming up more pink on camera. Okay, I tried to mess with my white balance, but I really don't think it worked at all. So let's just go back to what I was talking about. So I am going to get rid of this Essence Long Lasting Lipstick in number 6, which is like this brownie mauve color. Um, it looks like this. Again, this is not real, like, to color. It's, this is really pissing me off, you guys. <sighs> Continuing. So I'm going to get rid of that one, and I was... Comparing it to Max Faux, which is what's on my lips today, and you can see in, not in the swatch, but in real, like in the camera, that this is more of a pink, and then that's what the swatch is coming up looking like, but it's more of like a, your lips but better, pinky nude. The next thing that I'm going to be getting rid of is this Essence Long Lot, or this liquid lipstick, and this is in Make a Statement number 06. Um, this is first of all not a liquid lipstick it's just a really pigmented gloss which is really pretty but I just don't like it and the smell of this is honestly so horrible it just smells like bad chemicals and so I'm getting rid of that I just I don't want to have that on my face and then I'm also getting rid of these two other ones from Essence that are in, these are their sheer ones. What are you called? Sheer and Shine lipstick. This is in I Feel Pretty, and this one's in like a princess. Like a princess is like a 
vibrant, I didn't even use this one, but it's like a highlighter pink. Um, and these are supposed to just tint your lips. And then I Feel Pretty I did wear a couple times to try to get a feel for it. And it's... It's not coming up true to color, but it's a pretty, like, mauve berry tone. But those are just, they came up really patchy on me. Like, even in the swatch, you can kind of, well, you can't really tell because you can't see it very well. But they just came up patchy on my lips. They didn't look good. I just, I did not like them at all, like that formula. So, bye-bye. The other lip product that I have is the Lorac Lip Lux in Bordeaux. And this is a really pretty, like, wine color. It's right there. Um, this is supposed to have, like, 8-hour wear, and it's really pretty. The packaging is little, and it's sleek. Um, smells good. It looks good. This is the kind of color that I love. So I don't know why I was even thinking of getting rid of this. So jumping right into eye products. Another one that I'm keeping is the e.l.f. Glitter Primer. Um, I do want to try the NYX one or get the Lit Glitter one, but this one did work pretty well. I used it the other day. If you guys follow my Instagram, you would have seen that I did like a glitter look the other day. So it's just a white, sticky base. And what I do is I kind of like tap it wherever I want the glitter and then I let it set for a second like it's eyelash glue. And once it starts to get really tacky, that's when I, like, pack it on. Um, yeah. And it works pretty well. It's obviously, like, relatively inexpensive, but it does work pretty good for the cost. The next thing I have is an Artist Couture highlight. This is the Diamond Glow Powder in Illuminati. Um, this is really pretty. I put the little sticker back over top of it when I used it. Um, but I did really like the way this looked. It's a really pretty gold. So once I get done with my ColourPop one, I actually think I might pan this one next. Um, or at least do like a roulette and have it in there or something. Like a rotating project pan or something like that. Just because I like it. I like it a lot. Then the last thing that I'm keeping is this Milani Bella Eyes in Bella Purple number 15. This is a really dark, beautiful purple. You can see it has like a sheen in the camera. Um, but this is a nice dark purple. It has like a little bit of duochrome looking effect. But on your eyeball, it just looks good. And honestly, these blend away to nothingness so I anticipate if I tried to pan this I could do it easy but this is the only like really dark purple that I like shadow wise so I want to keep that for sure so I am going to be keeping that dark purple and then the other ones that I was on the fence about that I am going to be getting rid of surprise surprise because I always just hang on to these and then I put them in my maybe pile and then I'm like no I can't get rid of them I don't have any Milani stuff and then I keep them but I am getting rid of these so the first one I'm getting rid of is the Milani these are all the Bella eyes so this is in Bella Violet number 14 it's super pretty honestly but it just I have shadows in my BH Galaxy Chick palette that are similar to this and that don't blend away as easily and that's like are more pigmented so I'm going to get rid of that and keep those the next one is Bella Silver number 20 it's a really pretty you're gonna guess it silver but I do have my Urban Decay electric palette and there's a silver in that so I am gonna be getting rid of this and I'm going to be keeping that electric palette because if I ever need a silver, I'm going to reach for that one over that single shadow. Because, let's be honest, nobody ever goes through their single shadow drawer and is like, yes, what else can I pair with this shadow today? Nobody has time for that. Unless you're doing like a tutorial or this is like your main job. The next one is in Bella Sky, number 8. I do have this one on today underneath some of that BH Galaxy Chick palette because it just wasn't giving me the pigmentation like you can see there it's like really sheer um let me try to like build it up so you guys can even see what a color it is it's a really pretty light blue even 
that's a couple, that's like a lot of product and you still can't really see it. Um, which is honestly really frustrating, especially if you're trying to not spend an hour and a half on your eye makeup. The next one is Bella Blue, Bella Navy, number nine. Again, I always don't want to get rid of this because it's so beautiful, but I do have it on today. It's in my crease, and just so you know, can you guys even see it? No, because I actually had to go over this with a shadow from the Bella, or from the BH Cosmetics Galaxy Chick Palette. I went over it with Nebula or something. It's like the navy blue that's in there. But this is so pretty, and it swatches so nice, but when you put it on your eyes, it just disappears. I don't know where the hell it goes, but it just goes away. So that one, again, I'm going to have to part with. And then the last one that I have is Bella Charcoal. This is the same thing. I used this one this morning in my crease um, to kind of do like a smoky eye. And it took so long. I was actually late to work because I just couldn't get it to build up enough pigmentation. And I ended up just going over it with a dark brown just to get rid of it. And then, obviously, when I came home, I redid my eye makeup and did blue. But, I don't know. I mean, these are all really beautiful. And I did find these at the Dollar Tree a while back. And I was so excited because I found, like, ten colors. And it was honestly so great. But I just never use them. And I want to get things out that I never use. So, that is the wrap-up of everything I'm keeping and getting rid of. I'm keeping one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things that I'm getting rid of to... Four, six, eight, ten. I'm getting rid of ten. So I'm getting rid of more than half that was in that maybe pile. So I feel like this is a win. If you guys want to check out my other decluttering series or the series I'm talking about, that'll be linked down below in the description box and up in the cards. And I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. If you want to hang out with me anywhere else, it's all down below. Subscribe to my channel. See my face more often. And I will talk to you guys all in the next video. Bye, everyone.